Hey guys, it's February 29th. Uh, so guess what? I got tagged to do the Leaper Tag by Brad. And um, I'll link his channel down below. He's a really cool guy. He does a lot of horror reviews. Um, he lives up in Kentucky. Um, really nice guy. Really glad that he tagged me in this. This is going to be a fun tag. And um, pulled a bunch of books off the bookshelf already. Ready to do it. Let's hop in. First question is an extra day. What is one book that brought something extra? So for me, it's the Black Prism. It'd be spoilers to tell you the extra thing, but man, it was super cool. Magic was great. There's a twist in here that just blows your mind. And if you haven't read it, please read it. It's super great. Um, I love it. It's a great, great book. Um, whole series is good. I've read it all. And I'm excited for any of you to give it a shot because it is just so stinking good. All right, question two is take a big leap. What is one book that you were afraid to read? So for me, I wasn't really afraid to read it. I was just really afraid more to read this author. So the author, Stephen King, and the first book I read by him was 112263. And I just didn't know if I was ready to read a bunch of horror, didn't know how I would feel about it. And then 112263 kind of felt like a very good jump off point for Stephen King because it's not horror at all. It's um, a time travel story. So I enjoyed it immensely. You know, he goes back in time, try to stop the assassination of John F. Kennedy, um, falls in love, wonderful story. He travels from um, Maine to Florida to Texas, all over the place um, back in the 60s. Really cool look at what the 60s might have looked like. And um, after it, I even went to the um, memorial where he was shot at the um, book depository down in Dallas when I went on a business trip. And so it made that much of an effect on me that I wanted to go see that. So really, really cool. Hopefully um, you guys check that one out as well. So, so every four years is what is the fourth book you read this year, which was Ender's Game for me. Great book, um, wonderful science fiction story where a bunch of boys go to a battle school to learn how to be um, soldiers in space. And um, really the focus of the school is on battle school. Really, really good. They made a movie that wasn't as good. Um, and I'm just really excited for people to read this. It's one of my favorite sci-fi stories. Um, Ender starts the story at six years old, but he's ridiculously smart. Um, a genius level kid that can just do all kinds of crazy stuff. Becomes a leader through the teaching and the leadership that he learns. He kind of solves issues by himself. And um, it is a powerful, powerful story. I picked up book two and book three. So really want to keep reading in this series, but this was something that I really enjoyed and it was the fourth book I read this year. All right, so this one, I've already picked the books out, but the third shelf is this one. And so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and found, um, well, let me describe it better. 366 days in the year, looking at your third shelf, name the sixth book on that shelf, and then the sixth book after that. So the sixth, first sixth book on the third shelf was Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. It is the first book in the Expanse series. I really, really enjoyed it. I took a bunch of notes on uh, little stickies for, you know, different spaceships, where the spaceships were, uh, the mystery that was happening with Detective Miller, and then um, what Holden and them were going through, and um, how that whole story mingles and, and the things that go on there. So this was a wonderful book, and I hope you guys check it out. Did a review if you want to look at it, and um, it's really, really good. And then the next book after that, this is the sixth book after the sixth book, was The Lies of Locke Memora. Um, read this book originally on my Kindle. I've never read it physically in, um, you know, other than on a Kindle, but it was really, really good. The, we follow a group of young men who are um, criminals, and they're going through trying to um, have a heist in a Venetian-like city that's not Venetian. It kind of, um, it's in a different universe, world, whatever. And the main two are Locke Lamora and Jean, and they're best friends. Their friendship is really good, but then we also have the brothers, um, a young boy, and um, I haven't read it in a little bit. I'm going to reread it before I do a review on the channel, but I remember loving this a whole lot. So leaping ahead, the prompt is four books you hope to read by the next leap year. These are probably four books I'm going to have done by the end of the year, but I definitely want to have them done by the next leap year. Book one will be The Stand by Stephen King. It's a post-apocalyptic 
story where a disease kills like 99% of the people and we follow certain sets of people as they try to make their way in the world in I think Colorado and um, it's huge it's one of the epic books that Stephen King wrote they're actually doing an adaptation of it um, coming up this year so that would be really exciting to see and, and to uh, join before um, that show comes out maybe I'll watch it um, the second one is The Chronicles of the Black Company by Glenn Cook. This one is The Black Company, Shadows Linger, and The White Rose. So it's the first three novels in um, the Black Company series. But I've heard it's really, really good. Triumphal Reads, um, I'll link his channel down below. He has read these, and he, he kind of raves about them, says they're really, really good. So I want to read these as well. And then the other one, I played the game Metro, Metro, Metro Exodus. Um, and I want to do, read these books, do a review while playing the video game. That way, you know, Dini did it back, way back when, where she was doing Skyrim, and now she kind of just, you know, does talking, but I saw she did a video where she was playing some Skyrim again, and she did the Skyrim book tag, which she tagged me in. So, I'm excited to maybe play some video games while talking about books. I might just record the game early, and then come back and, you know, kind of voice over it, or whatever. But... That, I think that'd be a really cool thing on the channel. When she did it, I was like, man, that's so cool. I wish I could do that. And um, I think maybe I can give it a shot. So want to do that um, maybe by the end of the year, um, but definitely before the next week year. And then the last one is the Malazan series entirely. So starting with Gardens of the Moon, I've heard it's probably the worst book in the series. Maybe, maybe just the slowest book in the series. And um, so start with it and then jump into Malazan. I, I think... It would be a wonderful um, story to read, and I'm excited to maybe get a chance to read it. So this will be the fourth book um, in the books that I hope to read by the next leap year, but probably will have them done by the end of the year. All right, question six is Leapfrog. Name a book on your TBR that has green on the cover. So thought about choosing Gardens of the Moon because it had green on it, but going to go with The Princess Bride. I've seen the movie many times. Movie's very good. I like it. Um, it's quite funny, very quotable, um, you know, I, I'm not going to quote it for you because I would just sound silly, but um, Princess Bride is one I definitely want to jump into. I've heard there's differences in it, and the differences are really good because the author of The Princess Bride wrote the screenplay for the movie and kind of threw some things in there that um, would make it a lot more enjoyable on screen but this would be more enjoyable in a book form. So really excited to jump into this sometime this year. Um, it's on my TBR, it's got green on the cover. Now, the last question is bad luck. What are some bookish book things that you, that you try to steer clear from? For me, it's setting a book down open, like upside down. Like, I don't know if you can see this right here, but like setting it like this. Like when you're like taking a break or something, like setting your book down like that. It bugs me. Like, I, I, I can't stand it. Like, to look at this book doing this, I'm like, <sighs> yeah, like, I don't do this. I do, I mean, you can get a bookmark out of anything. I got, um, I've got like little pieces of cardboard. I take a, um, usually what I like to do take a bookmark and put stickers all over it so it'll end up with stickers all through the book through the um you know eventually you can't even tell what the bookmark originally was <coughs> but i do not like setting a book down on, on open like that I, I hate it so the last one is to tag some people but being that this is the leap year day uh february 29th i'm not going to tag anybody just because i don't know if anybody will still do it after um, the leapers over so wanted to go ahead and say if you do want to do it, please please do it I think it's a lot of fun and I've got a couple of the book tags. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna tag some friends um, Booktube people are some of the coolest people on the planet So please if you do do it and you're you know, you got the idea from my channel. I'd love to watch your video So just let me know and um, I would love to hear your thoughts on this tag I thought it was a really cool tag and thank you Brad for tagging me in it. Thanks. Bye Thank you.